Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Sunday haul. So in this episode, I have some new drugstore products from Flower Beauty and ColourPop. I also have some things from Lo Rock, Touch and Soul, and Persona. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And as always, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll be able to let you know my thoughts and some more than just a first impression on some of these products. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey guys, it's Monday. I just got a PR package from Refer Brushes and I'm already putting fingerprints all over it with my hand cream. Um, so anyway, this is their new holiday collection, which is actually launching uh, on Sunday, which is going to be the day you're watching this video. So it includes three brushes, two face brushes, and then a new pencil brush. And actually all of these are new, which I'm so excited about. And they actually have a deal going on from now until November 8th. You get $100 off of this set. So so it regularly is 216 it's going to be 116 and just for that limited time so number 23 is a smaller version of the number three brush which is in the core collection that's actually still on sale by the way as well it's a set of five different brushes for $88 so I'll link that down below as well so number 23 is even smaller for more detailed work I use the number three brush every single day it's filthy as you can see I'm constantly using this one it's especially great for hooded eyes because because it's so small you can really get very precise so I'm excited to test this one out as well next up is the number 24 brush this one is a face brush and it's kind of a more dense version of the number five which is also part of the core collection and this is another one that I use every single day it's like my ultimate perfect blush brush this one looks a little bit fluffier this one is definitely more dense it's less fluffy but at the same time it is still so incredibly soft so I'm really excited to try this one as well. And then last but not least is brush number 25. This one is a redesigned version of brush number 11, which I believe was really, really popular. And oh my gosh, talk about the softest powder brush I have ever felt. I cannot wait to start using this. It just feels incredible. If you haven't tried Refer's brushes, they are the softest, just most luxurious brush you will ever use. And they're all handcrafted in Japan using all natural uncut hair. So they're just a dream to work with. And these have just been my go-to brushes the last couple of months. They are expensive, but at the same time, they're an investment. They are gonna last you forever, especially if you take care of them. So anyway, guys, I will leave the holiday collection linked down below. You also get this really nice acrylic brush holder with it too. I use my other brush holders from Refer, and I mean, you can fit way more brushes in here so I think it's just great you can also use the top as well as another brush holder so that's usually what I like to do I just set them out on my counter so anyway I would love to hear from you down in the comments below if you've tried rougher brushes and what your thoughts are Hey guys, it's Monday. I just got back from CVS and I picked up some new things from Flower Beauty and I also got some things from Flower in the mail at the same time. So what happened is I went to CVS and they only had a small flower display. They didn't have every product. And I know that some stores do, but I think some stores only have like a little, this was just a little display. It had the new primer. It had this pyramids blush, which actually isn't new. It's been around for a while and a couple of other things that I already had. Um, so these newer products I had to actually order online but I know that some CVS stores have the full range so I would probably go on CVS's website and search for a product that you're looking for and then look to see which store near you actually has it because so far the only one that I've seen near me had just like a small display with a few items so um, first up we have the supernova celestial priming whip and this claims to be packed with a blend of antioxidants to soothe and rejuvenate the skin this weightless primer leaves a soft radiance to diffuse the look of fine lines and pores so it sounds kind of interesting I really did like their supernova um, the oil with a little bit of shimmer in it that one was really nice so whoa a lot more came out than I was expecting I hardly pressed it down at all all right so it basically feels light like a hair mousse like it feels like it's just gonna disappear into nothing almost yeah, I definitely used way too much. Oh my gosh. All right, let me just get a tissue. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just going to remove a little bit of this just so it's not so much. And that way this will sink in a little bit better. I'm really curious to see if this is going to kind of smooth out pores and fine lines because it doesn't have that thick silicone feel that a lot of primers have. It is really, really weightless. 
So let's take a look, I guess, at my hand next to this one. So I definitely see the radiance. There's no shimmer, there's no glitter, but my hand just looks a little bit brighter and kind of a little more dewy, which is really nice, actually. Um, I don't necessarily see like pores being filled. I can see a lot of pores right here, and they basically look the same as they do over here on this side. So I don't necessarily notice that. But yet at the same time, my skin does feel a lot smoother. So I think makeup is gonna sit really nicely on top of this. And also it does give that little bit of a glow. So very, very excited to test this out. And then next up we have the Get Real Serum Foundation. I got mine in the shade Ivory L2. Hopefully it's the right shade. Um, it says it conceals and smooths skin with a natural looking finish infused with antioxidants and hydrating properties to help nourish and care for skin as you wear it. Our weightless formula doesn't settle into lines and feels light as air. Skin looks younger and healthier. It also says that it has medium buildable coverage and a natural radiant finish. So I'm hoping that the radiant finish Finish isn't like their light illusion foundation that one I loved like the texture of the product and I loved the way it sat on my skin but I didn't like the glitter or the like shimmer that was in the formula because I really felt like it accentuated texture on my face and I know so many people love that one but I just couldn't get behind it because of that so I'm hoping that the radiance in here doesn't mean that again because I think that's gonna probably prevent me from enjoying it so let's see I'm just gonna put a little bit more I'm trying not to pump too much had to learn I had to learn my lesson with the primer okay so let's see it is very thin just like a typical serum foundation it's blending in really easily and I already definitely see some radiance in it. Like it's making my skin look glowy. I don't know if it's just that or the primer underneath actually. And the color actually seems to match me pretty well too. I thought it was gonna be too yellow, but it's not too bad. So there's a look at the coverage. You can see that it definitely hid all of the redness in my skin that you see over here. Looking up really closely at it, I don't see any shimmer but it does have more of that radiant, again, kind of glowy finish, either that or maybe it's the primer peeking through, but I kind of feel like it's the foundation also. I think that has the same kind of finish that the primer did. So anyway, guys, I'm definitely gonna try it on my face this week and let you know. I also got the Chill Out Color Corrector. You guys know how much I love my Pixie Corrector. I did a whole video on it uh, the other day. So this is infused with hemp-derived CBD, and I got mine in the shade Light Peach L1. So this was the lightest one. It says, correct and brighten your under eyes with our peach toned color correcting pot to instantly neutralize dark circles. Your eyes appear illuminated while the nourishing formula infused with hemp derived CBD hydrates and soothes, smooths, I can't even read, <laughs> smooths delicate skin for the perfect concealer base. So it's interesting actually that they put a warning on here too. Please consult a physician prior to using if pregnant or breastfeeding. I'm guessing that's because of the CBD that's in the formula, but I don't know. All right. I'm really hoping that this is very similar to the Pixie one. Actually, it looks like it's maybe even a slightly deeper shade of peach than that one is, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be um, like a thicker formula because some of the other peach correctors I've tried, they don't work as well as the Pixie one because they aren't quite as opaque. So let me try to cover like this freckle right here and see what happens. Yeah, this is definitely darker than the Pixie one. So I'll have to see, I guess, how well it works with my skin tone because I mainly use these around my eyes. And yes, I will cover it up with concealer too, but sometimes with the Pixie one, it's actually light enough that I don't always have to. It kind of blends into my skin really well. So it definitely took down the pigment of that quite a bit. So I'm gonna be playing with this also throughout the week and I can let you know my thoughts. Also, if you guys would like to see a video on all of this new Flower Beauty stuff, let me know, cause I could also just do like a get ready with me and just try it all on. And that way you can see it going on and, and hear my thoughts on it a little bit more. So here's the Pyramids blush. And I have to say, this looks a lot prettier in person than it did on the website. I never really thought to order it at the time when it first launched, just cause I thought, you know, it looks okay, but this is really beautiful, like really, really pretty. Um, let's see what it says. Multi-dimensional color, soft shimmering finish, a mosaic of pigmented perfection. 
curated shades that work together to create a radiant flush of color. All right, so let's just go ahead and dip right into it. I'll just kind of swirl my finger around and pick up all the colors. I think I picked up a little too much actually. Wow, I mean that color is so gorgeous, but it is incredibly shiny. It's kind of like highlighter shiny, but at the same time, I mean, oh my gosh, look how smooth this is. It's very rare that you can take a powder and just smooth it out like this with your finger. It is like the smoothest thing ever. I think it feels more like a baked formula, which I really happen to love. And I don't always mind a glowy baked formula because they're very kind to more textured skin. So anyway, we'll have to see how this one works out. I do like a glowy blush in place of using blush and then highlighter. So um, stay tuned to the end and hopefully I had a chance to use it this week. And the last thing I got are these chill out lip glazes. These are infused with hemp derived CBD again. So I got two shades. I got Zen and Peace Out. And this says here, these are also made in the USA. Um, they have CBD content is one milligram per package. And just word of warning, I am all for safety seals, but I've been working on this one now for like a couple of minutes and I'm just getting it off. It's really, really on there. So just be forewarned, I'm actually chipping off my nail polish trying to do this, so. All right guys, so I'm also having trouble getting this one open so I don't know if we're gonna be able to swatch this one today it's just not budging I got this one open so this one was okay uh, I'm gonna have to see if maybe my husband can open that one for me or if I get something like a little bit more grippy to try to open it but anyway I'm gonna swatch this one. Oh wow this actually has a bit more pigment than I was expecting it to this is really beautiful like lip oils are normally very sheer let me just dip back in this is so nice and it seems like it is really, really smooth as well. So that's so pretty. Now I really want to get this other one open. Ah, uh, all right. I got it. I put on some rubber gloves. I think maybe my hands were just too slippery because I did put hand lotion on right before this. So let's see what this one looks like. This color is a little bit more sheer. It has a slight peachy tone to it, but this one definitely had some more color. So anyway, guys, I'm going to try all of this out and let you know some thoughts at the end of the video. But again, if you'd like to see a full video on all of this new flower beauty stuff, let me know. And I could definitely do that coming up this week. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I just got a package from ColourPop and they sent over some of their new Gopher Baroque collection. Um, so this is going to be actually at Ulta and I believe also on the ColourPop site. There's three different palettes. You have uh, Baroque, Grandeur, and Ornate. And then there's also some Lux Lip Duos and Pressed Powder Blushes in the collection too. So what they sent over was the Grandeur palette and also one of the pressed powder blushes and one of the Luxe Lip Duos. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch everything. So first we have the Grandeur palette. These are nine pans and they come in the cardboard packaging versus the plastic. I love the packaging of these. I love these flowers. I think it's so beautiful. And here's a look at this one. So as you can see, this one does have a pressed glitter right in the middle. It also has four, no, Three shimmer shades. I think this one looks like one of the mattes with the micro glitter in it. This one too, and then three regular mattes. So a little variety of different finishes going on in this one. And looking at this one in the pan, it's making me think about the Dream Street palette and also the brown sugar one as well. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and swatch this one. So the first shade we have, I'm actually going backwards in the palette. So I'm starting with the last shade and going back this way. So first up we have Monaco and this is that matte shade with the micro glitter. Next we have Jolie and this one is also uh, a matte with micro glitter. And then we have Need. This one is a beautiful duochrome shimmer. And then Mode is a warm brown matte shade. Excess is the pressed glitter. It's a beautiful gold. Next we have Lavish and this one is kind of like a coppery brown shimmer shade. Next we have Dusk and this one is a medium brown matte. Next we have House. This one is a light golden shimmer. And then last but not least we have Velvet and this is a really light brown 
matte shade. I do think the color story is super beautiful, so let's go ahead and do some quick comparisons. All right, so first let's take a quick look next to Dream Street, and I was convinced that these were going to be really, really close. I think in some ways they are, but also they're not at the same time. I was kind of thrown off thinking about the turquoise shades in the Dream Street palette, but in this one, the turquoises are not as bright, and then the other one that looks turquoise in the pan actually swatches kind of like a brownish turquoise duochrome. So it's definitely not the same as the ones in the Dream Street palette. So I don't actually think these are super similar. And then I also wanted to look at it next to Brown Sugar because I think this one is actually a little bit more close when it comes to the color story. I love the Brown Sugar palette. I think it was beautiful. Um, and again, like this shade right here, the duochrome, looks really similar to the one that's in brown sugar. Also the um, coppery shade on the end here in the middle row, I think looks very similar to the one in the center of brown sugar. These two matte browns in the top row that I'm putting next to each other, I think those look really similar as well. And even this golden shimmer shade, the one that's in the top row of grandeur in the middle is similar to the shimmer shade in brown sugar called ginger. So I think it's actually a lot closer to brown sugar than it is to Dream Street. All right, so next let's take a look at the pressed powder blush. So this one is in the shade Chase. So here's what that looks like. It's just a really beautiful light peach. So let's go ahead and swatch this one. This one's also a matte finish as well. Ooh, this one is so pretty. I'm really loving that color. And then last but not least, we have the Splendor Lux Lip Duo. So in here you're getting one of the Lux glosses and then one of the Velvet Lux lipsticks. So I love these Lux glosses. I think these are a fantastic formula, especially um, if you like a really plush, cushiony kind of a lip gloss. They feel really nice. So this one is called Renaissance. And it actually matches the blush really nicely. It's kind of a light peach. It does have a little bit of micro glitter in it, but it's very sheer for the most part. And then we have the Lux Velvet Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Ingenue. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry, guys. And oh my gosh, this color is gorgeous. I'm not a big fan of these Lux Velvet lipsticks. Um, they go on initially feeling really comfortable, but then I notice after about a half an hour, my lips look really wrinkly and kind of dry looking. So um, what I actually do with these, the ones that I have, is I use them as cream blushes, and they are fantastic as a cream blush, especially because they dry down all the way. They don't leave your cheeks feeling sticky. So I think this is going to be an absolutely gorgeous blush color. So anyway, guys, that's what I got from this collection but like I said it is available at Ulta and I believe also on Colourpop's website so I'll leave everything linked down in the description box below. Hey guys it's Thursday I just got a PR package from Persona and they sent over their new Persona Paints nail polishes so these are $10 each they also have a mix and match deal going on on their website right now where you can buy three and save five dollars so they do come in seven different shades I have four of them so I have Cherie, I have Taupe, this one is really pretty. Lilac. This one might be my favorite. And blush. So I actually did just paint my nails this week, so I'm probably going to hold off, but I'll definitely try these out next and I'll have to let you guys know my thoughts. These are a 10 free formula. They're made in the United States and they're also vegan and cruelty free. They claim to be really long lasting. So I can't wait to try these out. And honestly, I love everything Persona comes out with. So I have no doubt these are going to be amazing. I just got a PR package from Lorac, and you might remember in last Sunday's video, they had sent me flowers to thank me for the video that I did on their new pro palettes. Well, they also just sent me some makeup. So we have the Lux Diamond palette. We also have the Lux Diamond Eye Gloss Trio in Sunrise and Sunset. And then Lux Diamond Lip Glosses. Also two new primers. We have the Pro Skin Glass Skin Primer and the Pro Skin Mattifying Primer. So let's go ahead and start with these. 
So the Glass Skin Primer says that it primes, refines, and repairs the ultimate skin indulgence, nourishes and visibly refines the skin, contains a patented oleopeptide and ceramide blend to help visibly repair the skin. That sounds really good, especially for me because I'm so dry. It says soft water texture is refreshing and feather light. Skin looks smooth as glass and feels perfectly pampered and it's suitable for all skin types. It also says that it transforms the skin into a silk-like canvas without gathering or balling. It subtly blurs imperfections while creating the glass skin effect, and it can be used as a mixing medium to cut foundation coverage and deliver more luminosity. So the bottle is super nice. It feels like it's glass. It's very heavy. And let's go ahead and put a little bit of this on. So yeah, look at that. It definitely has a watery type of texture, almost like an oil. Wow, this really does feel like silk. Oh my gosh. It doesn't feel like an oil, like it doesn't have that greasiness to it. It just feels super silky. It's making my skin feel amazing, like just the silkiest, smoothest canvas ever. I'm so excited to play with this one. Next, we have the mattifying primer. This one is infused with salicylic acid and antioxidant vitamins A, C, and E to help the skin appear healthful, youthful, and radiant. It's oil-free and fragrance-free, suitable for all skin types, and it says it provides ultimate optimal slip for a smooth application and flawless complexion visibly smooths uneven skin texture mattifies shine and acts like a makeup gripper for lasting wear so this has similar packaging but while this one has the dropper this one looks like it probably has a pump yep so put this one on this hand so this one definitely has more of that thicker gel-like consistency like a regular primer would but wow, it is actually filling in my texture really well. Like, let's take a look over here. I have like these little pores. Let's see how it fills those in. Look at that. They're just kind of smoothing away. So I'm just loving the smoothing effect that this one has and also just the hydrating effect that this one has. So this may be my go-to primer in the wintertime and maybe this one for summer. I don't know, we're gonna have to test these out. Next up, we have the Luxe Diamond Palette. I think this one's actually been out for a while now. They just came out with a new one for the holidays that looks so nice. Um, and of course, they have the new Pro Palettes, which I reviewed a couple weeks ago now. This one, I believe, is just their older formula. And honestly, I liked their older formula too. I know some people didn't, but I was definitely one of the people who did. So um, here's all the shades. This is just a really pretty neutral palette for the most part with a few pops of color and this looks like it might be a glitter let's see I don't think it's an actual pressed glitter it's just a really glittery shimmer shade it kind of has a rough texture though like um a glitter shade would have so let's see what that swatch is like yeah it's kind of like a topper it's not super pigmented it kind of is a little bit more on the sheer side Let's try some of the other shimmers, like this one. That's beautiful. And actually, it's swatching amazing on top of this primer. Maybe I shouldn't be swatching these over that because it's going to throw everything off. Um, let's try Ritzy and Rich. Here, I'll put them on my arm. Okay, still swatching really nicely. These just feel like buttery, smooth, and soft. Let's try a couple of the mattes. This shade Fifth Avenue looks amazing. I love the feel of Lorac's matte shadows too. They're just like velvet. They're so soft. Look at how they just glide across the skin. Like they're just so effortless. That's one thing I really love about them is that they just kind of blend themselves. They're so easy. If you're not good at blending, I think they're the perfect shadows for beginners, especially, and people like me who just have a really hard time blending shadows out. Let's just try one or two more shades. I want to see this shade Ruby, which is another matte, and maybe this one, Radiant. This one feels like a topper also. All right, so here's Ruby. It's kind of like a satiny shade. It's not really a matte. I thought it was at first. 
and then yeah that one's kind of more like a topper as well but this swatches beautifully so I cannot wait to try this out on my eyes all right so next up let's try these eye gloss trios so let's open up this one these are supposed to be a liquid gel cream eye gloss formula so I'm wondering if these are overly glittery or not because I'm not really a fan of glitter on my eyes but looking at them in the tube they actually don't look like a glitter and a lot of shadows that are in this format are more glitter than anything else so I'm really curious to see if these are not like that because if not I think I'm really going to enjoy them so let's see all right so here's the first one and there is like micro glitter in there but it's not that big chunky glitter so that's great actually let's see what this one looks like this one's called seashell that one was solstice this one wow that is so beautiful they just kind of look like liquid metal they're gorgeous and then this last one is Tan Lines. They're just really nice and smooth, which I love. Next up, we have the Sunset Trio. This one looks like kind of more interesting colors. So let's take a look. So yeah, looking at these closely, they seem to have more of a duochrome effect. So this one's called At Sunset. That is so beautiful. This one's called Skinny Dip. Whoa, it's like an electric blue. That one is really crazy. And this one is Yacht Club. It's a gorgeous purple. So there's the Sunset Trio. All right, and then last but not least, we have the Lux Diamond Lip Glosses. They sent 10 different shades, and it says this formula glides with ease and a pillow-like cushion of comfort while leaving your lips shining as radiant as a diamond. This formula includes 100% authentic, sustainably sourced, finely milled diamond powder for maximum multidimensional shine without the grit. This gloss flawlessly soothes and smooths the lips for a hydrated and plumped appearance. It has high luminous shine, non-sticky silk-like texture, and a blend of soothing oils that wrap the lips in an envelope of nourishment. So here's the packaging. It's really, really pretty. So first, let's just take a quick look at all the shades up close. Aren't these so beautiful? All the shades are gorgeous. All right, let's start with the first shade, which is Summer Fling. And this one is a sheer bright pink. Next up we have Pacific. And this one is a sheer blue with a little bit of shimmer. Next up we have High Tide. And this one is clear with silver glitter. Next up is Rooftop. And this one is a beautiful nude. This one doesn't have glitter in it. Neither did the first one, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Next, we have Pink Sands. This one does have a little bit of glitter, and it's a sheer light pink. Next up is Out of Office. This one is a pale peachy nude with a little bit of glitter. Then we have Sun Drenched. This one is clear with gold micro glitter. This one's called Vibes. And this one is a pale pink with no glitter. And then we have Heat Wave. This one is a bright orange, and this one also has no glitter. And there's also a clear shade called Melt, and I'm not going to swatch this one because it's just clear. But I did put one of these on my lips right before I started swatching, and it definitely has a really cushiony feel, which I love. And they have the same vanilla scent that the Alter Ego lip glosses have, and I really, really enjoy that formula too. But I think this one is a little bit different in that this one feels more of that cushiony sort of plush feel. Um, the Alter Ego ones have a nice, thin, non-sticky formula, but they're not quite as cushiony as these are. So anyway, guys, that's everything that I got from Lorac. If you'd like to see any of this in future videos, definitely let me know. I'm super excited to try out everything. Good morning guys, it's Friday. I just wanted to show you a quick look out my family room window. We're having snow, so I guess we're gonna have a white Halloween, which is not normally something that happens here. Usually we don't get snow until at least 
Thanksgiving time, but yeah, we woke up to a little bit of a surprise this morning. Hey guys, it's Friday. I just got a PR package from Touch and Soul and I was so excited because these products are all new to me except for this one and this is the No Problem Primer. This is probably one of their more famous products. I actually do have a bottle of it that I've been using as well and this is actually the second bottle of this that I've owned because it is a really, really fantastic primer. I haven't used mine in a while so I'm so glad that I got this because it definitely made me take it out again. I've been really kind of stuck in a rut using my Laura Studio Secrets and the Tatcha Primer, which I love both of those, but this is a really fantastic formula, especially if you like something that's going to smooth your pores. And it's not quite as thick as the L'Oreal either, so it's a little bit silkier on the skin. It's less likely to pill up underneath foundation as well. So let me just quickly show you a demo. So I have kind of an area of pores right there. You can see all the little dots. So I'm just going to put some of this on and blend it in. And it's just a really, like I said, a lightweight, silky base and foundation it goes on top of this so smoothly. But as you can see, like those little dots just completely almost vanished. <laughs> so it's a really great pore filler without that like sticky, heavy feel. So I'm really, really excited to have another one of these. And then also they sent over the No Pore Blum Priming Eraser, which I've never tried before. It says instant swipe away pore eraser. Prime and conceal skin imperfections. It shows like a before and after. This convenient stick type primer blurs skin imperfections for flawless makeup application without smearing on your hands. So let's open this up and take a quick look. And I guess I'll try some on my other hand and see how this one works. So it does seem to have a little... Um, sponge tip right here for blending in in case you wanted to use that. I usually just use my fingers most of the time, but here's what the stick looks like. And let's put it on these pores over here on this side of my hand. I'll just swipe it across a few times. And then blend it in. This also has a really lightweight, silky feel. It's not um, sticky feeling. It doesn't feel thick at all. It's actually very thin and weightless. So yeah, I think that did a great job at actually blurring out those pores too. I don't see any of those little dots anymore. So very, very excited to try this out as well. I really like that you can just kind of focus this on a trouble area and you don't have to use it all over your face if you don't need to. Um, they also sent the Mission Complete Waterproof Sensitive Lip and Eye Perfect Cleanser. I didn't even know that they had skincare, so this says this unique gel lotion type cleanser quickly and effectively removes eye and lip makeup without leaving any residue. The mild and non-oily formula does not irritate the skin and has the same pH with human tears. That is so cool. Here, let me uh, show you guys the ingredient list really quick, which is right there. So here's what the bottle looks like. I was not expecting it to be this color at all. Um, but basically this says that you just put it on and then wipe it off with a tissue. So it's like a no water type of a makeup remover. So I'm definitely going to have to test this out and let you guys know my thoughts. And they also sent over some makeup, which I was very excited about as well. So these are the Metalist Starlight Foiled Pigments. We have four of those and then the Metalist Sparkling Foiled Pigments. So let's open these up and do some swatches. So let's start with the Starlight ones first. This one is Honey Champagne. And these kind of seem like they have a similar texture to the ColourPop Super Shocks. This one actually has big glitter pieces in it. So I don't know if these starlight ones are different from the other ones in that way. I think these look like they're a little bit more chunky and have the bigger glitter particles, but otherwise the rest of it feels very much like a cream shadow. And then this one is Corally Star. Is that one? This one's called Love Twinkle. Ooh, these are so pretty. That one has like Actually, they all have iridescent glitter. The glitter in this one has some green to it, and this one has gold and purple. These are so beautiful. And then this one is called Twinkle Sugar. So these are all super, super gorgeous. I can't wait to try them on my eyes. Next up, we have the sparkling pigments. This one's called Hollow Mulberry. Oh my gosh, this looks like such a beautiful shade look at that. I still have glitter all over my hand from the other one, but 
oh my goodness, this is like the most gorgeous thing ever. And I actually think I like these a little bit better because they don't have all these glitters. I'm trying to get rid of the other ones still. But yeah, these are just beautiful shine and feel very similar to the ColourPop Super Shocks, but I think even more pigmented. Like, that is crazy. Next up, this one's called Aurora Taupe. I can't get over how pretty these look. They do have a little bit of um, fallout to them, but probably worth it for this gorgeousness. I don't mind at all. <laughs> all right, then next up we have Dazzling Sunset. This one looks like it's gonna be so pretty. I can't get over these. These are amazing. There's Dazzling Sunset. And all of them have the most beautiful, like duochrome, maybe even trichrome effect. They're just stunning. This one is Midnight Rose. I feel like these two are a little bit more subtle than these two. Like they're not quite as foiled. I mean, they're still very foiled, very intense, but these first two were like insane. All right, and then next up we have Honey Brown. Oh my gosh, these are just, I can't get over them. And last but not least, we have Cream Peach. Wow. So guys, I haven't been this excited about eyeshadows in such a long time. These just look like they're gonna be absolutely fantastic. So. I can't wait to try these out. If you'd like to see a video and maybe I could try all of these on my eyes, like just as a one and done kind of shadow, let me know. I think that would be really fun just to see what all of them look like individually on my eyes. So definitely leave a comment down below if that's something that you would like to see. And thank you so much to Touch and Soul for sending this over. I am so excited to play with everything. All right, guys, so that's everything for this week. So let's quickly chat about what I'm wearing on my face today and the things I got a chance to try out. So first up from Flower Beauty, I did try the new Supernova Celestial Primer the other day, and I like it. I don't think I particularly love it so far. I didn't notice it really like smoothing my pores or fine lines. It did make my face feel really soft, and I have to admit that my foundation did seem to go on over it really smoothly. So I liked that aspect, but for me, I'm usually looking for a primer that does that and more. I usually like something that's going to fill in my pores a little bit more, especially around my cheek area. So because this one didn't do it as well as the Tatcha primer or my L'Oreal Studio Secrets, I'm kind of just like meh about it. Um, but I have to say these new Lorac primers I am really loving. I'm wearing this one today, the Glass Skin Primer, and I was so impressed with how smooth it makes my skin. And the ceramides in this formula are really helping my dry skin to look and feel better and feel smoother to put makeup on top of and I also use the matte primer just in the areas where I needed it so I used the glass skin all over my face and then I put this one just on my cheek area right here and here a little bit above my upper lip because I do have some fine lines around that area and like just a little bit in the center of my forehead and I think the combo of both of these worked really really well I also tried the get real serum foundation from Flower Beauty for the first time today. It's actually, I'm filming this on Friday, so I didn't get a chance to wear this all week and it just was a crazy week and I hardly wore makeup at all. So today is actually my first day trying this foundation out. So I am wearing it on top of these primers, but I do want to test this over some other primers and then without primer before I actually sit down and do my review. So far I haven't worn this outside, so I don't know what it looks like in natural daylight, but in the house it looks really nice. It kind of reminds me of the one from The Ordinary, that serum foundation it's really really similar to that one so I'll keep you guys posted again if you'd like to see a whole video review on some of the new flower stuff definitely let me know for blush I'm wearing the ColourPop blush in chase that I showed earlier in the video and I just thought it would go really nicely with the eye look that I was wearing today which is from the Lorac diamond palette and this palette really impressed me it's their old formula which I know and love already so I just had such an easy time creating this eye look because like I said earlier in the video 
the mattes just blend themselves in these palettes and the shimmer shade that I used, which was this one, Crystal, is so smooth and so buttery. So I really enjoy Lorac shadows and I had a feeling I was gonna really like that palette. And last but not least on my lips, I'm wearing one of the Lorac lip glosses and this was like the fluorescent orange shade called Heat Wave, but on my lips, it doesn't actually look that fluorescent. So um, it is very sheer and it's a nice warm tone to go with the rest of what I'm wearing today. So anyway, guys, that's all I got a chance to try out. But if there was anything in the video you would like to see further reviews on, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for always spending part of your Sunday with me. I appreciate it so much. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right in the corner. I do these videos every Sunday and reviews during the week. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.